Hey, this is Imtiaz. Welcome to my channel. Um, yeah, so today we're going to do a very exciting project. We're going to create a custom AI GPT uh, inspired by Tim Ferriss. So you probably heard about the chat GPT is the latest update where they have given you the ability to create your own GPT or AI uh, chatbot. So uh, what we're going to do is take Tim Ferriss's knowledge base. Uh, what we have so far is the four hour series, the four hour uh, uh, body, the four hour work week and the four hour chef. And we're going to put that together as a knowledge base, feed it into the GPT and create our own custom AI uh, inspired by Tim Ferriss, the man himself. Imagine having uh, your own chatbot that provides uh, uh, fitness advice, culinary tips, life hacks, all in the style of Tim Ferriss. So this is going to be very exciting. Um, so stay tuned and let's dive into this project. First go to chat.openai.com. You need to have a paid subscription of ChatGPT. Uh, you will get an access to ChatGPT4 as well as the ability to create your own GPT with its uh, latest uh, update. Uh, so you will want to click on create a GPT and it will prompt you to a screen where it will ask you a couple of questions where you can um, describe what the GPT is about. Uh, in my case, I'm putting in Tim Ferriss inspired uh, AI. Uh, and the great thing about the ChatGPT is that it's going to give you some uh, recommended names for your GPT. So um, no more guesswork and it helps you throughout the whole process. Now let's talk about the AI itself. We're using a GPT style model known for its ability to generate human-like text. This technology will enable our AI to interact in a way that feels natural and insightful. Now notice ChatGPT automatically generated an avatar for the GPT. And now this is possible because of its latest uh, feature where it actually now produces uh, images uh, based on the description that you provide. Uh, or in this case just recommends an avatar automatically. Uh, you also have the option to upload your own avatar um, and I went ahead and created an AI image of Tim Ferriss and uploaded it. Okay, this is great. It's coming along amazing. Uh, just a few more steps to go until um, it's done. ChatGPT is going to ask you what kind of tone would you like the GPT to have. Uh, I could imagine Tim Ferriss talking in a casual tone, so I'll, I'll, I chose casual. Uh, now you can change this to any other tone you want. And it also asks you about any kind of limitations and topics. Um, I don't like limits, so I went with um, no. Now ChatGPT already comes pre-trained with a lot of materials that uh, that pertains to Tim Ferriss. I could imagine that it has access to all the podcasts and all the resources that Tim Ferriss has put out on the internet. Um, however, uh, I'm still providing my own resource just so that I could test out uh, the flexibility in providing local knowledge and seeing how ChatGPT interacts with it as well. Um, this is particularly useful if you have a business and you would like to include some of the domain knowledge that you have for your business. Uh, that would be a, a great uh, use case for a GPT.
Training the AI is both exciting and challenging. We're uploading a text data into the model, fine tuning it uh, to grasp versus style. Uh, this process requires some computational power and patience as the AI learns to mimic his tone and approach. So I have uh, Tim Ferriss's uh, books on my computer, uh, The 4-Hour Body, The 4-Hour Work Week, as well as The 4-Hour Chef, and all these three uh, books are in the in the PDF format. Uh, and I didn't have any issues uploading all of those files. It was instant. And I have successfully added local knowledge into the ChatGPT model. Uh, now, also, quick recap: ChatGPT is already trained on a lot of data already, uh, which includes resources uh, from Tim Ferriss, podcasts, books. Uh, but having that ability to give context to the uh, chat GPT that I am creating a Tim Ferriss AI uh, is great because now chat GPT understands how to tailor the re responses uh, and personalize the chatbot on top of that I'm also adding local knowledge uh, which includes the three books in the form of PDF files uh, that would ensure that uh, the model is uh, hyper focused on the Tim Ferriss style of um, talking and um, yeah as you can see you can create your own kind of GPTs using uh, your own influencers using your own resources or even using uh, some um, uh, knowledge or information about your business uh, and packaging it into a knowledge base uh, file that you can upload into the GPT model, which essentially makes it more personalized and that gives you a lot more uh, flexibility to design your GPTs in the way that you want. I went ahead and did some testing uh, to see if I'm getting the uh, responses Tim Ferriss would like me to give and it seemed pretty reliable, pretty accurate. Uh, there is some limitations, of course. I asked about quotes on AI from Tim Ferriss in his books, I was not able to find any. Uh, but this is that is fine because it could be used as an information retrieval system. But be very careful how you ask the questions uh, so that you could point towards uh, the GPT to look locally or globally uh, within the board broader context. Anyways, you now have your own personal Tim Ferriss AI GPT. Thank you for watching. By the way, I'm going to be posting a lot of new videos about AI and GPT, so make sure you like and subscribe and follow for more.